Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much. So a lot of questions have come in uh, since we started posting here every single day. Uh, three months ago, I think we started, maybe three and a half months ago. And uh, some of the biggest questions we've had are uh, about around headlines. So I wanted to go ahead and address that. A lot of you guys know some of the big channels we've had or the videos that we did, uh, the political videos or the outdoor videos or whatever that we did that hit 1.8 million, 1.2 million, 600,000 uh, on different channels. And so now that we're posting on this one and it's like, this is the training center, uh, a lot of people have asked that question. So, and uh, I'm just gonna kind of give you uh, what we teach our paid students. So let me, um, let me go ahead and share this with you. So, um, so some things that I want to address here, first of all, is you have to understand that high engaging content, no matter what, anywhere on social media, high engaging content is always going to border allowability. Okay. So what the platform allows, what people feel like is allowable, what people feel like is proper or whatever. Um, and so this is something that I learned when I was, you know, doing a lot of B2B stuff. And um, so, the, you know, it's, it's funny because the first thing people say now is they're so offended by what they think is clickbait. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. They say that, but then, you know, it's funny. You look at what you're wearing, you look at the phone you bought, you look at the cereal, you eat, you look at whatever, right? Almost everything you buy is through some type of, you know, sensationalized headline of red and yellow box cereal. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm going to show you that difference between things that are um, not kind of allowable, but, you know, it's proven throughout all of history, guys, whether you were writing something on a you know, brick wall with a rock all the way till newspapers until now that people are attracted to headlines that are close to allowability. Um, uh, I want to say that clickbait varies by person. Okay. So you, some of you may be offended right now already that I even mentioned clickbait. Some of you may be on the opposite spectrum going, yeah, dude, I totally know what he's talking about. And some of you may be like, oh yeah, he's going to give me like the secret so I can be super, super clickbaity. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it greatly varies. And here's the thing. Um, the, so there's a lot of studies around this now. And the more that the person that you're targeting, you have to understand your, your avatar, the more that that person has an, I'm just going to tell you the truth here, that the more that they have an unstable um, uh personality, background, whatever, um, the, you want to not be as on the edge here. Okay. Because they're going to be more easily triggered, more play the victim, more, you know what I'm saying? You're going to, you're going to piss them off more and you're not, obviously you're not trying to do that. Right. Um, the more that they are secure. So this is, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, these are actual real data points, secure, religious, higher income, things like that, um, they are uh, they are more stable in uh, reading, also more educated, things like that. Okay, so some people might say, well, I'm super educated and I'm super triggered. Well, that's true. <laughs> there is a segment of people like that. Okay, but it does vary by person. Um, clickbait is all about attention. So uh, see, see so, so some of you may be going, well, I don't want to create a clickbait headline. Well, dude, Every headline, if it's a headline, it's clickbait. Is, is what I'm saying. Okay, by definition, you know, if it's not if it's not clickable, then you know what I'm saying. Like like if it's not clickable, then no one's gonna see your stuff. So it's about attention. It's not about tricking somebody. It's not about deceiving, misleading those kind of things. Nobody likes to be misled. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So, so anyway, um, just, just remember it's your headlines are, are, are about uh, getting somebody's attention and that's why the more boring, the more, you know, the more it just says chapstick, you know, it's, it's, it's actually not that clear. Um, and maybe I should have put that in here is that, you know, um, the more boring a headline is, it's boring because it's not that good. It's, it's not clear. It, it doesn't delineate itself between something else. So why should I pick that or click that or choose that over something else? You see what I'm saying? So attention is important. Um, clickbait only works because people want it. Okay. Um, the reason that, you know, you know, cereal company, like grocery companies are, 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 are huge in, into clickbait headlines or, 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 you know, titles on their box or whatever and you you don't you don't necessarily think of it that way you know you know what i mean you don't think like oh this water company you know smart water 
what the hell do you mean smart water? Like, is that water going to make you any smarter? No, but people swear that if they buy, if they're carrying around a bottle of smart water, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the reason people buy it is because the marketing works because, you know, clickbait works to some degree there. Um, so I just want to say this too, before I show you the, the method here, if you don't have clicks, you won't have a business. Okay. And so at least definitely online, um, if you don't have engagement online, you won't have a business. So, so, I mean, how many people do you know with a website and they got no engagement, right? Or they have social posts and no engagement, or they have ads and no engagement. So if, if, you know, you can't get, you know, you can't have a viral video if no one clicks on it, right? You can't get a video of 10,000 or a hundred thousand or a million views if, if you don't have a million people click on it, right? That's just the fundamental way it works. So in order to get people click, it has to be engaging. Uh, and, and so there's a, there's a quadrant here that, that Gardner put out a couple of years ago. Um, <clears throat> and I think I've seen like two or three people on YouTube talk about this as well, but I think I'm gonna talk about it a little bit differently. And basically in uh, Gardner's magic quadrant, if you don't know Gardner, they're a big research firm. And um, so what they say is there is misleading on the bottom and uh, uh, sensational on, on coming up the, the left side here. And basically um, you know, headlines all will fall within, within, this, you know, this category. So the more they're down, down into the left, uh, the more they are going to be they're, they're just not going to work. The ones that are going to work the best are all the ones that are going to be up here in the right-hand column, uh, uh, upper right-hand column. And so, um, just, just take that for what you will. But what I'm saying is when you create a headline, you should think about in your head, where does my headline fall? You know? Am I, am I here? You know, you know, where am I? And, and you should think about like, you know, all, all your headlines, right? Like, you know, cause you might start out <clears throat> with it here and then you drift like way over here with it. And then you pull way back and you come over here with it. And then you, you know, but chances are you're going to do better, you know, over in here. Right. So let me show you <clears throat> um, just, uh, some videos on, on my channel. So <clears throat> this video right here is an hour long interview I did with a guy named Arnie Giske, who's a really awesome entrepreneur, been a student, and a, a, you know, a, um, attendee of some of our events. And I've been actually a student of his stuff as well. His stuff is awesome. I bought his courses and stuff. Um, so, but Arnie, he's a digital nomad and he's just a ridiculously sick entrepreneur, young, young, young millennial. And, um, so I, we did an interview, and so this used to say uh, James Smiley's interview with Arnie Giske, and and then it said James Smiley and Arnie Giske um, podcast, um, but it really never took off. It was like a couple hundred hits or something like that. Um, but then when I changed it to, so I talk about how how to build an eight figure empire uh, in here, how I went about building, um, you know, some some companies that we built, and so. Um, in this video, I don't go through step one is this step two is this step three is this, I don't actually do that. But what I do do is I hit on probably <clears throat> eight to 10 really good things that, 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 that I did that were a part of building the foundation of this kind of business. And so, <clears throat> um, so I just retitled it five steps to building an eight figure empire. And it did extremely, extremely well right after that. So so, you know, it's, it's interesting that title later on as, as we're out there, it did really, really, really well. So when it said, you know, podcast, it was, you know, it's true. It's a podcast, but it was way down here in this corner here. That's where it kind of started out. And then whoops. Um, and then when it, when it said James and Arnie, um, it was probably more like this. Uh, so not very sensational, but um, uh, but it was a little bit more, uh, talking about something defined. Okay. And then when it said, uh, five, five ways to do a figure to, to build an eight figure company, it's more like this here. Okay. So, and this is why it, it, it did what it did is it, um, here, I'll change the color of these. So as these colors get darker it does better 
is what I'm trying to portray here. So, <clears throat> so do you, you know, do you see what I'm saying? So like, it's not about being misleading because th- that, that title is not misleading. <laughs> that, 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 I'm going to tell you at least five steps, you know what I'm saying? And those five steps are good. And if you watched it, you're going to go, dude, that was gold. So you're going to get at least five steps. So I could have put, you know, seven, see if I would have did seven, then, so I would say five might be like this, but if I did seven steps, just because seven, 11, nine, some of those numbers are a little bit, can do a little bit better. Um, I might be drifting more this way slightly, you know, so, uh, somewhere in here. Um, see, the fact that I'm saying eight figure company, it's like that, that does seem a little bit sensational and slightly misleading because let's be honest, are most people going to build an eight figure company off of that? No. But I'm telling you, that is what they want to see. That is what they want to click on, right? Just like when you, like one of my, one of the hottest shows right now on TV um, is uh, there's a, a, a series called Navy SEALs. Well, when you watch Navy SEALs, are you going to become a Navy SEAL? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and is the show all about uh, a Navy SEAL shooting people? No. There's a drama. There's a backstory. There's, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> there's the fact it's mostly not Navy SEALs in the field, you know? So, um, So anyway, it's, you know, so hopefully guys, this gives you, um, you know, a good idea to think about like, where, where does my headline kind of fall? And once you understand this, you can just do this in your head. The other thing is that the last thing I want to tell you is you want to stay out of these red zones here. So if you think about, okay, if I said how you can build your first eight figure, um, eight figure company using these five techniques. Well, that would probably be, you know, like here, you know what I'm saying? Or here, some might put it here, but, but it's going to probably cross the line. Okay. This is how this was taught to me. Okay. Uh, This greatly varies by industry, by, by, by avatar. Okay. So for instance, if you're talking to somebody who's more, um, more of a, uh, I don't know, let's say they're in weight loss. Okay. Um, well, certain segments of weight loss, you can, you can get really, really, you know, crazy in the results saying that you're going to get this results in this amount of time. And then you're probably up in here, but that might actually sell. Okay. So if, if that's selling and it's weight loss and what that's telling you is that industry, they have more, uh, they have a stronger gut to be able to take certain types of, of headlines. Okay. Versus like, you know, if you said that in like, you know, maybe like, I don't know, I'm going to just say something, but hopefully it doesn't offend somebody. Maybe it's like older women or younger, uh, uh, you know, millennial men or, or Gen Y men or something, you know, I don't know, like, you know, there's segments where like that same exact headline could totally piss them off. And so you, this, this is where, you know, you just, you have to know your customer and don't ever think, that some marketer or some teacher or some coach is going to tell you the absolute best way and the most universal way to do it. Like there's, uh, I don't want to say, but there's some really, really awesome marketers that are out there who will, their headlines work in their industry. But if you were to take those headlines and put them into something like, let's say your industry, you would get laughed at. And, uh, and I've actually tried that before. I had a coach, I won't say who, but I had a coach uh, who something like that happened. And I, I put out a, a webinar. It did really well. People stuck on but no one bought. And so when I did the surveys, uh, people said, dude, like, you know, it just seems so sensational and kind of misleading. And I was like, oh, shiz, I was way up in this zone. And I didn't know, you know, that like in a lot of B2B, I mean, people don't want fluff, right? They're, you know, and then you get to, so, so that, that, that zone may have been like this, you know, versus like, if that was a B2C or, or something that's dealing with more like affiliate marketing or agency or some type of more um, non-formalized business B2B type of sale, where it's less formal, less academic, then uh, that may have been permissible. So anyway, hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks for hanging out. Guys, I got videos every single day coming for you. So check the newsfeed, uh, make sure you're hanging out in the community. And I appreciate all of you who are subscribed and are part of what we're doing here. Thank you so much. You guys are making this uh, channel awesome. It is literally because of you. So I appreciate you so much and I'll be here every day for you. Talk soon. Good luck with everything.